going on guys today we're going to sh break down my super budget musky fly rod uh, setup and um, kind of break down how I found the stuff I did what I like what I don't like and uh, see if you can get yourselves into some musky maybe on the fly here this season please please check out the merch we have tons of new stuff dropping all the time tons of designs different seasons different species you name it um, links below and uh, help support the channel thanks so as fall approaches here, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm first and foremost, I want to say I don't chase muskie primarily. But when I'm asked to go out or whenever I'm able to go out, um, this is my setup that costs very little. So I'm going to break down, you know, uh, what it is that I have and how I go about uh, fishing it. So my first thing I want to do is I want to break down the rod. So many of you know that I had a falling out with some with Max Catch a while ago. Nothing personal or anything like that. Just business wise, we didn't connect that well. Um, but before I did uh, end things with them, I did get myself a 12 weight. Now many guys will fish 10 weights. 10 weights are perfect for this application. I opted to go 12 weight because I, you know, was gonna fish tons of fairly large uh, flies like this double articulated fly here um, and when I'm fishing into the wind on my my lake I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to easily punch the line out and it does a very good job of that um, attached to my this is a max catch just like one of their basic rods um, is a Reddington Surge. Now the rod was maybe f $50, give or take, um, on Amazon at the time. The reel was maybe an $80 reel. Um, and many of you are already doing the math and that's not like ultra budget, but uh, finding a 12 weight reel that's affordable can be a challenge. Um, on, that on that reel, uh, for my sinking line or intermediate line, this is currently a sinking line, I have the, I think it's a Scientific Angler's Titan reel. It's, it's actually a tarpon line. Um, and, but the reason I, I went with this reel, or with this, this line, is because I found it cheap on eBay and it's a full sink line. In addition to that, I have an inexpensive $15 Superfly 12 weight floating line as well that I swap in and out. Um, and so far that's gotten me by. Um, you know, whenever I go out with experienced anglers who fish for musky all the time, they frequently say, yeah, the presentation looks good, you know. Um, the tough thing I find with a nine foot rod, this is a nine foot 12 weight, is gonna be in your figure eighting. If I were to buy a different rod, I think what I would end up doing would be to go uh, with a shorter rod, uh, doesn't help with your castability, but what it does do is it allows you to figure eight a little easier in the water, especially over weed beds. Um, and when I'm chasing muskie on my lake primarily, we're fishing the, the weed edge line. And, um, you know, to get enough movement, you really have to, uh, ha but, but having a dual handle like this actually does help me get the figure eight, but a nine foot rod can get in the way a little bit. Um, attached to my line, I have, I usually run like three, four foot of 50 pound, double surgeon to, or triple surgeon sometimes, or blood knot, it depends on what I'm feeling, uh, three, four foot of 30 pound. And um, this is what was recommended to me, and uh, I haven't looked back. I do have bite guard, and I do have wire, um, but until I have a fish bite through 30 pound, um, then, uh, I guess I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, I don't believe that fi these fish take line that much. It's gonna be mostly dog in you. It's a big, heavy fish. Um, but I do have some backing on the on the rod, uh, or on the reel rather. And um, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think of the setup? Uh, if you were to change anything other than to upgrade to a more expensive and reliable system, um, you know, I was. I was able to cast just fine. I'm able to cast quite a distance um, and deliver 
something like this accurately, you know, 60-ish feet, 70 feet. Um, uh, it's not always pretty, but, um, you know, dumping the back uh, cast is definitely my way to go um, when fishing something, you know, as heavy a rig as this. I do have to say also that this is not a very balanced rod and rig and, and reel. You know, this, this reel is definitely a, no pun intended, behemoth of a reel. Um, but uh, that being said, um, I think it's going to do the job just fine. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos in the playlist, and until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out.